Hi, my name's Dane, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. Today, I'm going to be showing you some new additions SolidWorks has made to DIM Expert in 2016. The first change I'm going to show you is the new tool within DIM Expert called Basic Dimension. This tool will display the dimension with no tolerances, and the value will be placed inside of a box. In 2015, when you place a datum to a hole or radius, the letter R is displayed in front of the datum block. In 2016, the R has been removed and results in graphics that are more clear and easier to read. If an older file is opened in 2016, this correction will be applied to all radius datums. In 2015, you can only select faces when using the location or size dimension tools. When I try to select the edge of this hole, I get a failed to create dimension for selected face or feature message. In order to get the callout I want, I have to select the face of the countersink or the internal cylinder face. In 2016, you can now select edges as well as faces for the size and location tools. As you can see, I can select the edge without an error message and get the whole callout I want. In 2016, the edge selection is not limited to holes. You can also select silhouette edges when you are using the size or location tool. Again, in 2015, I cannot select any edges, so I'm stuck grabbing faces in order to get the same results. As you can see, it is double the amount of clicks to get the same process done in the older version. When locating features in DIM Expert, you can now dimension vertical, and horizontal dimensions instead of just the direct distance. Just like in sketches, you can right click to lock the orientation selection. In 2015, I have to select the faces and I can only do the direct distance. There has been a slight adjustment in the document properties in regards to the Dimension Expert tool. By default, the DIM Expert standard is the same as the overall drafting standard. But new in 2016 is the ability to change the DIM Expert standard. This option gives you more flexibility within the DIM Expert tool, and if you need to change the standard, it will not affect the default standard of drawings correlated to the part. Of course, the real power of the tool comes from the auto dimension scheme. So let me just clear this mess I made by right clicking the part in the DIM Expert Manager and deleting everything. I'm now going to auto-dimension my block to demonstrate a new addition to 2016. When you create a geometric tolerance, a datum control frame is automatically created in compliance with ASME 14.41 model-based definition standard. What that is, is this triad coordinate system created where the datums meet. In 2016, you have the option to use DIM Expert while in an assembly. The DIM Expert Manager tab is now available, but there is no tab in the Command Manager. You can access all the tools in the DIM Expert Manager, or you can activate the DIM Expert Toolbar. So, in this video, I have shown you the changes SolidWorks has made to DIM Expert in 2016. I have shown you the new Basic Dimension tool, the removal of the R in the radius datum, the ability to now select edges, horizontal and vertical reference dimensions, changes in the document properties, new datum control frames, and the use of DIM Expert in assemblies. If you like this video, found the information useful, or want to see others like it, please subscribe to our channel.